Fumble, fumble. Hey. It's tough. Tough shot. Tough shot. Ishii does not make the shot. Moon staying aggressive here. Vernon Macklin with the post up. Knocks down the mid range off the glass. Post up, touch down to Edwards, kicks it back out. And Goyang showing some active hands. Not making the passes easy. So early five point advantage for the Orion. Yeah, off to a hard start. You know, the guards are pulling up, hand in the face, doesn't really matter. Ooh. A bit of a flop. <laughs> Wide open shot. Rebound Edwards puts it back. Good hustle. You got a box. Oh, he looks active early and it looks like they're trying to get him the ball. Yeah, and he's playing he's playing solid on defense too. Good take. Unable to convert there. Ball back the other way for Chiba. Wide open shot. You gotta knock it down. One of the exciting players for Chiba that has people talking is Yuki Togashi and his speed, ball handling, and ability to finish among the trees as Vernon is able to convert there. They're looking pretty relaxed. Off to a 7-2 early start. They seem easy going, pretty confident. Pick and roll action, going under the screen. You gotta be aggressive on that. If he's going to go under the screen, you got to come off ready to shoot. Ball coming off the Orions. I'm not sure if number two has that in his arsenal. If they're going to go under the screen all night, he's got to be able to pull the trigger. He's got it. Yeah. He's got it. Something to keep an eye out. As I said, Jagashi is one of the more proficient offensive talents in this tournament. Despite his 5-5 uh, five -five listing. A generous 5-5. Five -five. Edwards not able to convert there, not even able to draw a rim, so the shot clock violation favors Go Young. I'm having flashbacks of that air ball that Barosa shot last game. <laughs> <laughs> Edwards' hamstrings look to be entirely intact. Yeah, stretch them out, stretch them out. You know, first quarter action. Weave action here. Vernon yep. Macklin skips it over to Moon, puts up a three, knocks it down. So he's off to a yeah. hot start. It's two for two. Sorry, he's that was a two-pointer. Certainly off to a hot start. They cleared out the whole side of the floor for Get him. Good looks, though, yeah. And early on, we're seeing much back tighter door. action from both teams as Togashi with the back door and that trade that, mark floater yeah. that he does so well. That is textbook right there. Get it above the big guy. Right off the glass. Ten feet, ten feet. See, that's a moving screen there. It's exciting watching Togashi play defense. You know, like courtside, you just he's sandwiched in between some of these bigger guys. There's something about the little guys always got the biggest fight in them, I'm telling you. Very scrappy. If he hits another one now. Boom, knocks it down again. I think in beer pong they call that heating up. He's on fire. Three in he a is, row. He's heating up. He's worth eight points of the 12 that the Orions have right now. Edwards posting up. Double. The double, double team comes again. You got to be able to pass out of that. Yep, good deal. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Looks like they're going to get the blocking foul. Tough call, right? Coach is being warned. Everybody relax. It's the first quarter. Tough call. Don't have any relapses yeah. of the. Was it Shenzhen that walked off the court? Sup, sup. Sup. So you know, a, it, sorry, that's real quick. That was a blocking foul on Nishimura. Yeah, no, I think no, it's sorry. Um, that would be Hale for Goyang. It's yeah. tough to call that block. You know, in my opinion, he beat him to the spot. Blocks are always tough. Those are one of those there. Foul. They're always subjective. Good take. Right? Good take. Good strong take there. Yeah, not able to convert it. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> Give me that shot. The foul, though. Again, Edwards' presence felt early. I like uh, I like number four in red. He's really playing well here. Is that Moon? He's hit it a few is. shots in a row. Now he's active on defense. That's kind of how you get in the game there. You know, you make a few shots. Now you're really playing. He's got a lot of confidence. Yeah. You look at him. He's in there. Yeah. This is the second free throw. Moon with the rebound. 
Let's see if they clear out the floor for him here. I mean, he's heating up, so you want to get the ball in his hands. Here he comes. Yep, another one. Hey. For the drive. Back out to Hale with Looking three. Looking for the foul. Let's convert. Ooh, three wet spot on the floor. On the floor. That's not what you want to see. Hopefully didn't pull something. It's a little shaken after it. Again with the three. I want to get that wet, that wet spot for sure. Red four. Going to get a loose ball foul here on the rebound. Here we go. A little bit of pressure here. Star goes up. Coming on the back. Yeah, a little bit of a push there by Moon. They let that go in the backcourt. It's one of those things where, like, it, it happens a fair amount, and yeah. you just don't catch it. Just a quick little shove. He is quick, I'll tell you what. He's quick, oh, he gets quick. there, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter who's there. He's it's, a scrappy player, and he knows how to make it work for him. They say the low man wins. Low I think that's your new favorite player. Low center of gravity. He's getting by anybody. Another lefty shot. He's always looking for the foul on that shot. Vernon Mack with the rebound. Good, good hook. Good hook. Staying with That's it, still a, fighting. I mean, rebound Chiba, and here's Tagashi coming back up again. They're starting to bang now. You can see it off ball. They're going to call something here down low. Moving it around on the wing. Good hands. Yeah, he's working. He's working. Comes down low. Parker's not able to finish the tip of the upwards. Parker's really working. He's running straight down the middle of the floor, each possession. I like the Parker's or Parker Edwards combination as a as a physical front court. They seem to be working well together. I, Edwards will end up with the most of the majority of the scoring, but they play their parts well. He's coming as off. Moon pulls up and hits another three. Uh, you got to get a hand up now. He's coming off looking to pull. A little bit of a kiss the ring there. What was that four in a row now? That's four in a row. Three threes and a two. Oof. So who's guarding him? Hey, hey, hey. It's the headband. It's got to be the headband. Can't stand in front of this guy. Tagashi gets a wide Don't open look with quickness. Ooh. And he knocks down a three. So Tagashi is back, 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 back and forth. Back and forth. Let's see if Moon gets the ball here. Already we've got a heated up exchange between a matchup that promises to be exciting. Yeah. Moon. A lot more competitive for sure. Here we go. Let's see. Come back for the hand now. Ah, you don't want that. Now get to stop the ball. Here comes Tagashi, who does not care how big anybody else is. Happens to lose it accidentally. And ball comes off off of uh, good action Mac here. Come out! Come out! I thought we'd see another pat to floater there. Right over the big guy. And time out on the floor. We'll take a break and we'll get a chance to listen in on the huddle. See what the coaches have to say. Both teams now getting set to come out of their respective puddles. And again, already we're seeing high quality basketball, 15 to 12, just and past the, the halfway mark in the uh, in the first quarter. Yeah. What do you like so far, Christian? You know what I like is not too many turnovers from either team. So last game we saw. <laughs> they both. bugged you last game, didn't they? Yeah, they came out a little sloppy last game. This game is much more sharp. You know, not too many missed shots either. Not a lot of defense. Well, again, this is. One Watch of the staples the, of the weekend is high entertaining basketball. the guard on the handoff here. Yep. But he's, uh, Don't go under teams. on it. Oof. 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 Put on a little bit of a show. Oof. And Edwards down there working. Gets the end one. Yeah. They can't stay in front of this guy. So Tagashi with a little razzle dazzle up on the wing. And Edwards down low working hard for the putback. Look at this. Uh, I'd love to see a replay of that. You know, you put him in the pick and roll. It's really difficult to stay in front of him. 
Parker's playing well as well. Unbelievable to watch. A lot of effort. So entertaining. Edwards here, not able to convert. I'd say Parker's an NBA level athlete as well, I'd say. You're talking about Parker or Edwards? Uh, free throw shooter. Free Edwards throw shooter. Edwards was Sorry. just now. But yeah, you're right. Ed Edwards is long, athletic, and, and has a high motor. Yeah. And he'll, he'll be an impact all the way through to the fourth quarter. Not too flashy. No headband on him. No. <laughs> Good ball movement. Get a hand up. Get a hand up. Moon there looking again. Good close out. Pull up loader. You don't have to. And the putback. Is that I was going to say you don't have to force that up, but he put it in. Now let's see how what, what kind of luck he has staying in front of the ball handler here. Tagashi setting up their side punch setup. Ball dumped down to Edwards, and the double team comes again. Shot. Kicks out to Tagashi. Over to the corner. Wide Easy. open three. Easy Knocks money. It down. Easy money. Easy money. That's an assist for Tagashi. Great execution there by Chiba. 17 17. Hey. Just how the coach threw it up. I want to close that on Moon a little bit tighter right now. Macklin squares up. Let it go. I think his offensive arsenal, you, you can play him one on one. You don't need to send help with this guy on the post. Macklin or Macklin? Macklin, right? Yeah. Let's see if they send any help. Uh, I think they like that matchup on defense. You can give the ball down there. Uh, set up a potential lob. Yeah. Yeah. You saw the back door screen. Moon comes over. Good shot. Good shot. Maybe got the roll. Got a backup in the game. Yep. Joe not able to convert on that two point shot. Ono with the ball now, hands it off to Edwards. They're steadily going under the screen, which means they are not respecting the jump shooting ability of the guards here. And with that, as we're seeing, comes the risk. We're creating the risk of the offensive team to set an illegal screen, as we saw with Edwards Yeah. just now. A lot of pick and roll action. He's now going to have to sit. All right, let's go. And the infamous backboard breaker. <laughs> The Studio City Vandal himself. <laughs> I'm not sure who's paying for that backboard. It's not me, I know that. <laughs> but a, a, a great talent, highly athletic, and now that he's checked into the game, somebody to watch out for. Lefty shooter, knock it down. Boyan gets a wide open shot, knocks it down. As Il, Il Young Hill gets the open three, giving the Orions a three point advantage. There's no defense there on that shot. Gaffney up top now with it, giving him a lot of space. Sets, he sets a wide screen, I'll say that. Oh, no, what do you think, Ian? If, you, if you're setting a screen, are you allowed to have such a wide base? Like, you actually are. You are. You are, in fact. As long as you have your base set, you don't move. You're all good. Learn something every day. Oh, no, with arguably the best hair of the tournament, definitely. Definitely takes good care yeah. of that, that headpiece. Small insights, that's what we're here for. <laughs> you know, if somebody's got the hot hand like uh, like Moon had, I'm not sure why you take him out of the game right there. Well, to work, Spencer just checked in as he took that three-point shot. A little hesitation on the shot. Oh, no, with the three. Stepped right into it. I like the confidence. Run, run. down to Ryan. Spencer Ooh. brings it up. If you can get the big man to run here. He's, lo he's looking to pull the trigger. Yep. Good look. Troy with three down. Hey. Right. Macklin can't get the put back to go. The presence is felt. He's hustling. He's running. Hustling. Getting, back on, getting back on D. Hey, hey, Final hey. possession here. Ooh. The dancing continues for the guards. Blocking foul there called on. Joe. You got two shots here in the bonus. Is that put back attempt by you got to put Macklin. that down you, you got to put that down right come on now tough tough grab on it what kind of play you see him drawn up here for the final 14. that's what you're here to do man high pick and roll <laughs> i ask you those questions high pick and roll high pick. oh no. that's one of those you want to know you want to know what i know I'm, yeah that's what, one of those things. Here comes the high Here pick. comes Christian's high pick and roll. Here comes the high pick and roll. Watch. Here comes Macklin. Oh, four seconds. He's pulling. You let him play. Oh, no. no there no you go. Here comes Macklin. 
drops down early. That's a foul, actually. He wanted it, yeah. and they're not going to give it to him. Solid effort in the quarter. It's good matchup. First quarter's in the books, 18 to 20 for the Orions. Coming back now, 20 to 18 is your first quarter score after the Orions and Jets have kicked off their match. Already we're seeing high quality basketball, great offensive output, and some offensive firepower from both sides, making it very entertaining. Yeah, not a lot of missed shots. Either good offense or bad defense. Take your pick. Good offense. I, I, I actually agree. I'd say good offense, actually. I was going to say, I think the defensive effort's been been pretty pretty they're making, good yeah they're making some contested shots so it's been it's been a good game so far yeah so we get some of the si highlights here you know they're getting the action they want right here's Macklin just kind of on a weak side pin down gets a lower defense smaller defender on him there's Tagashi with a yeah, beautiful they're, floater they're getting the action they want excited to keep watching him for the rest of the game Tagashi and Moon have really a little bit initiated the, yeah. the star power here that's a good block as Moon just all over the place here in case you like that floater so much, we're going to show you one more time. Kissed it off the glass. Well worth it. The rims look a little loose there. Easy give. You see that? Yeah, I did. The shooter's oh, rim right there. And Moon. Moon, who has been stroking it early tonight. Yeah, even though they're not matching up, I think that one-on-one -on -one battle between the guards is, is what you want to keep an eye on. Taking a look at the first quarter statistics and tightly contested matches. Both teams shooting roughly the same amount, 7 for 20. For the, for the Jets and 8 for 20 for the uh, Orions. Rebounds roughly even at 14 to 12, slightly in favor for the Jets, but the Orions establishing themselves as the better ball movers with 6 to 2 on the assist advantage. I'd be curious to see when they bring Moon back in the game. Absolutely. Welcome back. Getting ready to kick off the second quarter here. Coming to you live from Studio City in Macau. As the Jets will lead it off here for the first possession. Beginning with a weave action and a high pick and roll from Edwards, who gets a mid range I jump like, shot. I like that. Action. Good execution. Yeah. Edwards is playing well. Confident. Very well. All tied up again, 20 he's, 20. He, he's winning that matchup between him and Macklin right now. And Macklin's staying active. There's nothing against him. But if they're going to get it for the foul here. That's going to be. I think it's third. You know, you no. did, yeah, offensive. Stationary. Never stationary, he's saying. <laughs> Little light discussion. No, I don't feel human at the moment either. The thing you don't want to do is extend your arm here. Not really able to settle an agreement there, but official making his case you were never stationary agree to disagree there you see throwing a shoulder in there a little bit I mean, it's not dirty but no, the official's right he wasn't stationary yeah, it's no. not a proper screen and certainly not dirty you, you get away with what you can absolutely wide open look here what? and a tussle for the rebound ends up being Sheba ball it's hard to take your eyes off the matchup between Edwards and Mack but they're, they're banging it down low I'd be curious to see if the refs start calling fouls down there off the ball. 100% in agreement until yeah. Tagashi has the ball or Moon shooting a three, as of right now. Yeah. <laughs> While they're on the bench, the action continues. Backup's not doing a bad job. Yep, yeah, right there. Ooh, finish it. Great job getting to the lane by Mahal, but not able to convert. Yeah. And Macklin uh, is on, hey. not going to come up with a rebound. Just gonna say hey to the front row. Good effort. We'll kiss the fans. <laughs> kiss the baby. Baseline, guys. I Some lucky fans down there who probably went to some international school in Hong Kong. Yeah, cool, cool guys over there. Front row seats. <laughs> all good class. friends of ours. All class, all the way. Those Offensive guys. Offensive foul away from the ball there. Thank you. If and I'm not mistaken, that's a third three, offensive foul they've called, which is not usual for two quarters of action. And it is the same official who called the exact same call on the other end, so kudos for consistency. It's proven a point, at least. You know, it's his world. We're just living in it. <laughs> <laughs> Look for Christian's finest time <laughs> to come out in the second and third quarters of every game this weekend. <laughs> 
No ass, no ass. That pick and roll action is coming. This guy, don't go under on the screen. He's looking to pull the trigger this guy. Hesitation. Good defense. And Spencer puts up the back legs active. Too. And you got to watch it down there when he falls down. Watch your legs. That is a tough Edwards call. For it. That's a tough call. I, I actually agree with Edwards here. That's a tough well, call. Yeah, I mean, this is this is going to be his third. Is he's, it? Yeah. So that he's going to have a very to, tough call. Yeah. Though. He's going to have to go to the bench here. Or probably go to the bench. In a tie game, and he's just fighting for the ball. It's a 50-50 ball. You can't call that. Here we go. Jack to break the line. Giving him a lot of space, handoff, and look for the shot. Easy. Finish. Great. Oh! Great action sent away at the rim by Edwards. Ball coming back the other way. The comeback story for Edwards. Shot not converted by Hale. Looking for the pull up. Looking for the pull up. Ooh. Hey, hey, Post hey, up. Hey. Edwards real active. Here he comes again for the help side. Yep, move. good rebound. Edwards Take out the rebound, bringing the ball up himself. Ah. Just stretch yeah. stop and get it to the guard. Hindsight's Hines 2020, 20, right? Take a look at this block here by Edwards. Times it perfectly. It's great offensive action, but just not a whole lot you can do there. Yeah, in, in this tournament rules, you're allowed to play the rim. Right, so it's FIBA rules, right? right? So balls on the rim. You could play that, yeah. So NBA action, you can't play the rim like that. Well, that one, that was, you know, just good, good old-fashioned sky high, hasn't touched anything, sending it away. Spencer staying aggressive. Good on ball. Turning piece. away the Macklin screen, dumps That's, it down. You know, coaches always say, don't jump pass. Tony Gaffney comes up with it. The infamous Gaffney. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that backward. Hey, I, hey, I saw him on Al Jazeera the other night. Ooh, hey, your favorite guard's back in the game, shaking him. Good rebound. Three is not converted by Chambers. Chambers sizes up. He says they're fouling me on the ball. They're fouling me. Real loose with the ball. Give him that, thinking yeah, about it. Give him the space. Ooh. Good deep. Shot fake by Choi, knocks down the three. Better offense, good deep. And then, what has been a three minute drop for the Orions to open up their second quarter scoring. Yeah, break the tie, it's been 20-20 for a little minute here. Hindsight. I see you smiling. Edwards, Edwards. finish. Strong, there it is. You give him a good fake, finish strong at the rim. Textbook. Now, compared to the last game, we're seeing yeah, definitely just, a, yeah. a pick up in quality I, of basketball. Yeah, higher quality, I was going to say. You agree, yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's Great nice move, move by Macklin, nice not move. able to finish. And here comes Togashi. He's pulling. You always want to look for the trailer there. The big guy's coming down. Another I think offensive. Edwards has that kind of range on his shot. Yep, another offensive foul here. Big impact player, Moon, back in the game. Headband as well. Also in the game. Also in the game. <laughs> Air package deal. Make it come back. Post up here. Shaky handle. In and out. Get it and go. Not able Get to fall go. there for Ono. I... Stuck in the corner. Jin Yu Kim with the baseline drive over to Macklin. Sizes up Gaffney. Nice little drop hook, uh, yeah. gets it to go. I'm liking how he's playing on offense. So he's now starting to get a little bit of comfort That's in the position ooh. there. Blocked there by Kim. Questionable, maybe a foul. Uh, you know, Macklin's got a good drop step, so if you think the drop step's coming, he just throws the hook right over the other shoulder. Here we take a look at the Maybe got him. by nope. Togashi and the nope. swap by Kim. Yeah, I'm incorrect. I thought he got him on the head. No foul there. Clean play. You see, the advantage of having thickly gelled hair is if you get hit in the head, you're going to know right away, right? There's going to be some sort of mark or streak. From... You tell me. You're the one with gel in your hair. You right? wear way more gel in your hair than I do. 
Sagashi puts him on his back, puts up the mid-range jumper, and gets it to go. So the height advantage that you think would be the defenders yeah. is completely nullified. He's kind of using it to his advantage. Like you, were, like you were saying, low man wins, and he is certainly the low man. He's my favorite player yeah. in the tournament. Absolutely. He's quick, man. He's quick. Those floaters, beautiful. Macklin with that mid-range again. Yeah, Macklin's heating up now for two in a row. He's knocked down that mid-range as well in the first quarter, so... Look for him, I'd say, maybe maybe later to kind of get that going. Macklin scoring down low, took him to the mid post. I mean, any way you want it. Chagashi putting That's everybody another good skates again to the basket. Exciting the crowd again. Dude. The people's champ. Yeah. yeah, the people's champ. He is fun to watch. He is fun to watch, man. This is, yeah, good action here. I'm gonna watch the roll on Moon. Mismatch. Mismatch. Great excitement in the arena right now. Good That's quality basketball. Macklin shoots a going for three in a row, respectable but, yeah. three that doesn't quite fall. And Togashi on the offensive again. He checked on. He checked on. No, hey, he's too hey. smart for What? And here we go. Who's putting on the show at Studio City? He checked Togashi on. says, everybody on my back, join along. Yo. He is fouled money, that guy. Timeout on the floor. Chiba with a two-point advantage, 29 to 27. Man. Let's listen in on the coaches. Man. He had like on skates. Number one side, you got to make a decision on the two-man game defense. Uh -huh. oh. Guarantee you what they're talking about here. On the top screen, we're not going to slide anymore. It's like ice, it's like ice. He's going to cover it up. What's the difference? We would rather give up two points rather than three points. So, offensively, you can. Now taking a look at the highlights here from the last two plays with Zagashi. There's a lot Giving of the defenders all sorts of fits as he. I can guarantee you what the coach is talking about in that huddle. Somebody's got to get a man on this guy. <laughs> you know, Maybe the coach two. is like, man, Maybe two. You guys have fun. I'm watching. This is great. You know, the guy's 5'5 five, five and just a born problem. And in tune with some of the, the finer guard talent at this tournament, it's not coming at a cost of the offensive rhythm no. of the Jets, yeah. right? He's I mean, finding his spots. For sure, within the offense. I'd be curious to see if Moon gets going again here. He started off hot. Hasn't got a shot in a while. And here comes Moon, there taking go. it to the basket. Good Gets pick. a nice, solid look. You know, it's not bad defense. Tough shot. So now you there. got the bad mismatch here of trying to guard the ball handler here, Tagashi. That's, that's what everybody's looking at. Ooh, I like Edwards down low for the finish. Good look inside. Yeah, he's good for that. You know, you give the ball there, he'll finish that. Keep an eye on him on defense as well. He's playing hard. Got a few blocks already. Ward Spencer Ooh. with a crossover pull-up wow. jumper. And one. Gets the foul. And he's been hard for that call all night, so he finally got one. Speaking of mismatches, miss that's probably one that the Orions are going to want to take advantage of as well. Yeah, like, like we were saying last game, if, if he's giving you problems on the offensive end, let's take advantage of him on the defensive end. You know, who is he guarding? Right. Let's make that the mismatch and see if we can work something there. Right. And similarly for Togashi, where he's he plays his physicality to his yeah. advantage, right? He's quick, he's low, he's ground, low yeah. center of gravity. Uh, Spencer is a longer ball handling guard, right? So he can, he can take advantage of that as Very, well. The word that comes to mind is rangy with hey, this hey, guy Spencer. Hey, yeah. yeah. I think they'll take that match. Okay. Okay. There's Ono working in the post. Good job, Going Spencer. over the left shoulder for the right-hand hook, and Macklin comes down with a rebound. Haven't Spencer heard. bringing it back up for the Orions. Yeah. Haven't heard from Macklin in a bit. Be curious to see if he shows up here on this position. Oh. Spencer with a step back three, front rim. Rebound Jets. Here we go, showtime. Gashi looking to push it. High screen and roll with Edwards. <laughs> Once again, Tagashi not 
Running his way offensively. I'm running out of adjectives for this guy. Like, they can't stay in front of him. They're nervous trying to guard the ball. He's got the defender on skates. Another call for Spencer. He's letting the refs have it. <laughs> I'm telling you. And a defensive foul there. Crafty veteran. And yep, that'll force Tony Gaffney to check in. They're trying to find a new defender here for uh, Tagashi. And I don't know if they're going to have any luck. Guys, thank you, Ray. Coach. Let's see if uh, let's see if 55 can guard him. We'll see. This is what I'm talking about. You got to make him pay here. So Jun Yu Kim, currently on Tagashi, and now starting the offense for the Orions. Back over to Moon. Passes to nobody. And potentially another sort of preseason mistake there. Yeah, I mean, you always want somebody to be in the corner. It's called the outlet when you run in trouble. All right, well, you should yeah. be there. You go in the middle, he, he's driving there. He's That guy's got to stay in the corner. That off ball cut probably should not happen there. But you also don't want to pass it to nobody. Set, so. set, set, set. So gosh, again, pulling Heat up for three. Oh. And he seemingly cannot miss. It raises his own hands as if to say, I don't know what's going what on. He but I'm just like gonna 85%. This is insane. 100 percent he's entertaining. He's smiling on his way down the court. He knows he's, he's feeling fun. it right now, yeah. Yeah, take that. Ooh. It's another pass to nobody. That's you gotta make him pay there. Come on. You know, if you see a smaller guy in front of you and you're moving, but you're 6'5", you yeah. gotta kinda take advantage, I think. What do you think though? To their credit, they're they recognize that the help side defense is there and they're taking advantage of the double. I As we see Togashi here on the replay, the three pointer. Smooth stroke, he's letting using, it go. Using the screens really well to keep that space. Like we talked about earlier, if you're going to go under on the screens, he's making you pay now. Steal by Chiba, but now let's we're taking possession. Let's see if they go under on this next one. Togashi again with the ball. Hit, that's another good shot. Parker over to Ono for the three, can't convert. And that'll be out of bounds. Orion's ball. And there goes, uh, sorry, Gaffney. Playing well so far. Macklin going to the bench, taking a breather. Macklin, sorry. Just over, just over a minute remaining in the first half. Orion's looking to close a little bit of the distance. I'll tell you what matchup with I'm looking forward to. Okay. Between him and uh, the guy with the judge from last game, that would be a matchup. Tagashi and uh, Forsen, that would be a matchup. So that'll be a good yeah. matchup, assuming it, you know, if it does happen. You know, if things go as continued, that would be a matchup to watch. Absolutely. Great matchup all weekend, you know? Cruel yep. and unusual punishment. All week, I should say. Yep. Those are tough calls, you know. Just watching the replay there. Don't really know who's gone out of bounds on. 50-50. It's not beyond the ref to call a jump ball there in that kind of situation either if they don't know. Five. Five. Time out. Time out. Time out here. Time out on the floor. Let's see what the coaches have to say. <laughs> If your Korean's good enough, you can listen to what that disgusted face is going to translate into verbally. I've been working on it a little bit. Let's see. So we start, we start from Akisai. Okay. Yeah, hands off. Hands off. Back up. Back up. Okay. If... Timeout, getting ready to resume the final minute here of the first half. Good action thus far. One more. One more. Parker, Gaffney, and 
Yep. Crash against the Jets. A little bit of foul trouble for Edwards. He's a big time player for them. I don't want to watch that. Here's our leave action again. Here he comes on the handoff. Yeah. Well, Ryan's oh, now in a 2 3 zone. Yeah. Good call, my friend. He's pulling it. He says, I don't care. You know, you can't. I'll have it. <laughs> I'm not the coach, but it does seem like an right. interesting. Yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> We're on the same page. You can't do a 2-3 zone and let him walk into a three. He hasn't missed a shot in 10 minutes. And now smothering defense on the post despite the highest hook. mismatch. Height yeah. mismatch. There you go. Keep Matt working. Matt McFarland on the boards as he converts to the two. If at first you don't succeed. Timeout for the Jets as they would like to convert on one final possession before the half. Try and push this lead one more possession. The guy's on fire, man. It's, you're right. It's an interesting cause with a 2 3 zone coming out of out of a timeout. He called 2 3 zone. Yeah. And, then, and again, no, nobody picks him up. You don't want to guard spaces on the floor. You want to guard bodies. You want to guard people. I'm surprised the coach isn't letting him have that defensive lapse in judgment. If you can go for rebounds, step it out if you can. <laughs> We have two of them. Okay, okay. You just say, hold your feet and then pop out. And just before he finishes final possession of the first half just like to remind everybody that the winner of tonight's game will play the lions tomorrow night for the championship of the super eight and the loser will go on to play the kings before that for the third place consolation game yeah the lions came out looking real strong last game so yeah and once again exciting yeah. matches or yeah. matchups and very promising talent chess matches all over the floor christian i don't want to get you too excited but the moves the halftime show now have New jerseys on. That should get you going. I just hope the fans can keep an eye open for him. Last possession here. Tagashi's got it. Go What's on. he got in his bag of tricks here? Let's see. That's a foul. They can't contain him. But potentially a smart foul by Kim as now they got to take it up from the side with one second left. I was thinking maybe he throws that one up. It's a few shots. Oh. Ooh. Wild up to Parker. Good deep. And the first half is in the books. Good half, good half. As we've got the Chiba Jets leading the Orions 39 to 33. Excellent first half action. Began with a lot of high quality basketball, high quality highlights, some star power, fun stuff you want to see. Yeah, I'd be curious to see what percentage both teams are shooting. I mean, it must be fairly high. It seems like not too many missed shots out here. Well, once again, as you can see, the halftime show getting ready to take their take the floor. And we'll be right back. The move. Oh, there we go. We're doing all right here, yeah? Yep. Welcome back. It's halftime here at the second semifinal game between the Go Young Orion, Orion and the Chiba Jets. Plenty of first half highlights here in this one, Plenty. Christian. An exciting Plenty. player, player talent to watch. Yeah. Yeah, None other. The most exciting player in the tournament. No less impressive than uh, uh, Togashi from the Chiba Jets. Just putting on an unbelievable show to the fans of the light here. Hardly missed. Hardly missed. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I was really kind of hoping you'd, you'd run with some more commentary about what you liked about what he was doing in the, in the first half. I mean, half, what, but yeah, what's not to like? They just can't stay in front of the guy. That's fine. We all, saw, we all had plenty of fun watching him. We got a whole other half to do it. Also, on the other end of the spectrum, Moon began the first quarter with a very, very hot shooting streak, contributing to the offensive firepower of the Orions. We have a nice land here by Edwards, who's also been very strong yeah. for the Jets, despite actually being in foul trouble and defensively Above making his presence known. Yuki Togashi just 
I could watch highlights of him all night long. Yeah, no problem. You know, let's go <laughs> under the screen there. I again enjoy the highlights as you as you will, but I just personally, you watch broadcast of sports, and sometimes it gets kind of annoying listening to commentators just get really hyped up about certain players. This is not and that I, I gotta, you know, it's like you know when you've been a waiter, you tip more. Like I'm gonna cut people some slack because this has just been. Unbelievable. Like I don't, I don't care if people are annoyed. I'm having the greatest time yeah. watching him. And right into that, enjoy some of these. And coming back into the halftime show that Christian is really only here for the move through. Do you yeah. know if we have these guys on tomorrow night? This guy's got a bench of solid 240. No way. Should we ask him? <laughs> Just while he's in front of us? 240. No. Come on. No, he's one of the, he's a functional lifter. Okay. Perfect form, but no way 240. I'm talking one rep max. Here you go. Here's a dunk for you, because you know you don't think he's going to make it, and he made it. Oh, do these do these count as the dunks that you thought he was the not one man, make? one leg takeoff? It's a dunk over people. What's your problem, man? He's working hard. He's a high flying entertainer. I am serious though. I see these guys, and I, I see you. Just talent. No, this is totally something you could do. All right. <laughs> Ooh. That's yeah. talent. Man. Yeah, I'm a fan. Um, what do you think? Wax is the mustache? Wax is the mustache? Or that's natural? Do you think he... No insights, huh?
All right, now let's take a look at the highlights from the first half. Moon raining down threes. Yeah, that was, most part. that was early. Until he decided to kind of take a little break. Vernon Macklin has been an impressive force on the inside, knocking out a few of those mid-range jumpers, and he'll probably look to continue that trend in the second half. Yeah, he's got it over both shoulders. Got a missed dunk. Strong presence. He did not miss the dunk. Focus on the highlights. Togashi again. Floaters, runners, threes. Shake and bake. Not much more needs to be said. Moon squaring up and knocking down a three here. He's and again, he's a guy. He doesn't need a lot of space. He doesn't need a lot of time. Nah, you gotta get a hand up. Gotta get a shot off. Float right over the big man. He's quick. You just can't stand in front of him. I think he's a. Uh, you see the handoff and screen here. I think what's happening. Teams are all getting the action that they want. Yeah, I thought, you know, we've been talking about the screen, the pick and roll action all night, the handoff action. Everybody's going under. So that stops there. It's interesting how much lift Togashi yeah. gets on yeah. the jump shot as well. Yeah. He's got a great jumper. Edwards is working down, working down low all night. You hope he can stay out of foul trouble and continue to sort of. Yeah, because you want to see the best, you want to see the best players on the floor. Yeah, so. yeah, and that's if that's what's so frustrating to have those 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 calls come in and kind of disrupt the flow. And this is another move by Edwards. Getting strong with the basket. Yep. Nice hook. That's, yeah, that's the, the jump hook that you. And he's a little you nervous about the drop set, so he puts a hook on him. There this is goes. one of the things that's kind of impresses me most is it doesn't matter about the size of any of these players to gosh he's going to the basket he's not he's not phased by any of it as you can see here squares him up shakes him off gets a little gets a little distance say la vie and you can see to the fans delight yeah it's and been this, a great this is so here. good for, yeah. for everybody here you know it's such a treat to be able to watch some Man. of the highest quality basketball available in the world I'm, right I'm, here now yeah i mean like it that. seriously it's been a great event put on Absolutely. Again, great job by the organizers, everybody involved. This will be this will be something that you know, like I said, you want to watch grow and grow throughout the region. Are you out tonight? Are you out tonight? I'm getting weird. All right, take a look at the first half stats here. Chief of Jets, again, leading 30, uh, 39 to 33 against the Orion Orions. Looking at a 43% field goal percentage advantage over the 38% are the Jets over the Orions. Knocking down five of their 14 three-pointers while the Orions are keeping pace pretty much with a five and 12 makes and attempts. Free throws few and far between for both teams as they both made two free throws while the Chief of Jets have been able to attempt five. Battle of rebounds has been pretty even, and the assists has actually been even as well after the first quarter. The Orions had six assists, so they drop off the ball movement in the second quarter for the Orions. Yeah, the number that stands out to me is 40% from behind the line. I mean, that's yeah. great shooters don't usually get 40%, and that's for a team. Absolutely. And taking a look at the star players here, no doubt you can <laughs> gosh, you're taking it away with 20. 22 points and a great show. Gavin Edwards also strong performance, 13 points, 9 rebounds, well on his way to a double-double. Tejong Moon without hot start is 13 points and along with 3 rebounds and 2 assists. And Vernon Macklin establishing yeah, his low presence. Working. Again, 12 yeah. points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists. All four of these players are playing well-rounded basketball, fitting in with their teams. It's great to watch. You're excited for the second half. I mean, you, you can't expect Tagashi to keep up the pace he's on, obviously, but I disagree. if, if, if he can keep up that can. pace, I think he might be in store for a little 50-point showcase here. Well, let's, let's manage expectations. That's it's going to be a great performance saying, no matter I, what. I, I'm looking forward to see it. So what are, you, what are you looking for in the second half? It's been pretty, it's been pretty evenly matched. Again, 
high quality basketball. Both teams are executing pretty well. Can you anticipate some sort of change, either strategy shift or some yeah. team begins to get sloppy? Or what are, you, what are you looking at? The, the one thing I would look to see is when they're running that high handoff or pick and roll, you might want to double until Tagashi gets rid of the ball. You might want to hedge hard until he gets rid of the ball on that handoff. Absolutely. Taking again a look, Vernon Macklin strong with 12 points on 6 of 13 shooting uh, along with those 9 rebounds. Um, field goal percentage is fine, but you, you'd look to have him get a few more a few more touches. Um, sorry, not touches, but better looks. For a big guy, you want to see somebody over 50%, right? Taking a look here, this is this Thank is you. what you want to see. Uh, this is what I like. You know, you got guys who can who can face up, guys who can roll hard. Yeah, he's mobile for sure. Yeah, I mean, he, 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 he gets good action on his spots. You know, he's battling here. Yep, long arms. He's in the action. You no figure, matter what's going on, he's right, in the you action. Figure, you figure a post player gets what in a, in a game if you're a star post player? Maybe maybe four to six actual one-on-one -on -one offensive possessions, like you're seeing here. Yeah. And the rest of them is going to come with running the floor, getting offensive rebounds, diving to the basket right. after screens. And, and that's the thing that goes unnoticed is when you're doing rim runs, that's when you get the ball as a big man. Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't get too many post touches, especially in preseason action. Yeah, absolutely. So you look for him to also stay out of foul trouble. They're getting a little ticky-tack, and I'm actually surprised he hasn't picked up a few more because he's, he's setting a fair amount of screens as well. Also, on the other end, no doubt, our favorite, Yuki Togashi, with 22 points on 9 of 12 from the field and a sizzling 4-5 from I behind mean, the line. Yeah, these shots he's taken are not, you know, open shots. He, he's shaking off the dribble. He's shooting pull-ups. Like. Comes away with one assist, which is that assist the fan experience yeah. that everyone is enjoying. When you're shooting like that, why would you pass the ball? <laughs> Again, you look at you look at the way he he finds his offense. There's yeah. you don't want to make too much about his height, but it's definitely something you have to consider. There's really nothing that limits him, right? I mean, if you're seeing somebody shoot, what was it, nine for twelve? It's usually a big man shooting little hook shots or put backs or whatever he's doing. This guy shoots step back right. floaters, three pointers. He's got right. it all. And you, you, yeah, you saw a moment ago, he puts Kim on his back, a larger defender, and he still managed to get the floater off. Here he gets by, you know, he gets by him as well and, and gets the yeah. floater lane, and, I, uh, and now he's just having fun. Yeah, I misread the mismatch early in the game. I said uh, they got small guards. You look at him yapping out there, having fun. The mismatch is actually going the other way. I, I bet he's, like, the nicest guy, too. <laughs> well, with hair gel like that. Oh, those are the worst. Just, just yeah. scorch you and after the game. Like, hey, that was a great effort. <laughs> just a reminder that the winner of this match is going to play the Lions tomorrow night in the final for the Super 8. Taking a little recap. This is the this is them in action earlier in a convincing win over the Kings, the Ryukyu yeah. Kings out of Japan. I this one wire to wire, wire to wire, winning the game. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it was the, you know, like wire to wire, like it was a close game. Yeah, no, 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 from no, like, start to finish, they controlled it. And they are, you know, you, I wouldn't say offensive juggernaut, but they definitely have a lot of firepower and as a collective unit. You know, they'll, make, by, yeah, by they'll make you pay if you turn the ball over. Yeah, yeah, got they, a lot of pace. Right. And right. Bor, Bor Boy was his name. Barusis. Bor, yeah, Barusis. He's talented. Yeah. And he's got a nice little touch, good length. Yeah. That two man game between him and Fortson is uh, pretty dangerous. Yeah. There we go. Again, lots of. Lots of strong, fast-paced action, and the inside patience of Bruises. On full display tomorrow night, waiting the winner of this match here as we get ready to set up the second half between Chiba and I am, I am really looking forward to tomorrow just take, night. Take a look at this height advantage here between Kim and, and uh, Tsugashi. See, that was my initial reaction. Is it might be a mismatch here, but it's not the case. He's been feisty on defense. Nobody scored on him, so. And Moon starting the second half. I mean, here's a here's oh, no, the thing. starting the first half. Here's the thing. I he came off the bench for some reason. What's how, the thing? how do you how do you take advantage of Tagashi on defense? Because he, he's guarding the point, so you right. can't really like put him in the post. But I'm not you, sure you how. You think you'd run him through a lot of screens, yeah, right? You want to hit yeah. him, but but he's but, he's quick though. So right, he you're, look, you're looking around, and the only real body that could do damage is Macklin, and he's you don't like, want yeah. him running around too much. Right? You, yeah. You're going to need to score points. He's quick enough to get around the screens, as you see. Good steal by yeah. Parker. Here comes Togashi good, pushes here comes it good fast pace. up ahead to Gaffney. And misses the layup. Uncontested. Kemp comes back down the other way for the Orion. Finish. And there you go. There's good that finish. advantage. Long strides past Togashi gets to the basket. Yeah, you know, I'm giving Togashi a lot of credit here, but he let him skate by on that one. Not much you can do there. Full speed, drunk heels. I think they call that Matador defense. 
Uh, maybe I'm blowing up. Ole. Gaffney up top. And Gaffney, you got to finish that layup. He started a fast break on the other end when you miss something like that. Here we go. Hey! Again. Finally, 55 gets a hand up on him. Uh, you got to give him the block on that and one. I like the no call. I like the no call. There wasn't, didn't fall over, moved him out of the way. You're I right. think he had the position, right. though. If he held his ground and fallen over, he probably would have gotten it. Regardless, strong offensive possession, and just like that, the Orions control the early momentum. Yeah, good start here for the Orions. Shoot it. Does he have the range? That's Gaffney for the three. Coming off. Gaffney's having a kind of tough time here. Should have finished that layup. Josh in the three, knocks it down. I'm running out of words to describe it, I'm telling you. Somebody better fix that net because he's been making it all night. It's 25 points for the young lad on yeah. the night. 50 piece. Yeah, that's a mismatch. You gotta you gotta give him the ball, Macklin. He's like he's asking for it, he's working for it. You gotta give him the ball. Kim for the deep three, doesn't convert. Here's the thing, as a big man, if you're asking for the ball and I shoot a three, I better make it. Dude, you're telling me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Macklin with a strong move, as anticipated, beginning to establish his presence in the second half as a scoring threat. Yeah, Gaffney's having a tough time with him. He's a load. And again, Daphne filling in for the foul trouble Edwards. Edwards. Yeah. Let's see if Tagashi can do something about that net. Go yeah, they're gonna get Macklin for the foul on this one. How's he looking at foul trouble? No problem. Probably on the scoreboard, or the coach will tell him. <laughs> they're still going on in the handoff. Pass off to Gaffney. Good, Good inside that, pass yeah, to Parker. Oh, locked by Macklin. Beat that Back off the, the other way. Board. Beat it. I think the ball might have a dent in it, my friend. I'm going to need more Michael Jackson beat it quotes out of you <laughs> on blocks this weekend. All right, I'll load him up. <laughs> Here comes Macklin. He wants he wants the post. Yeah, because Gaffney's going to have a problem. Weak side help. Yeah. yeah. Oof. I'll tell you, we'll leave him open all night. i got to stop talking over you. You, you get into the rhythm there, and you just kind of. Sorry. Ooh, skates. The guys. They can't handle. Again. Using that low center of gravity to Five. get him on the Five. hip and two. You know. Now, sit down. You sit down. Act of shooting. Act Kim, of shooting. Kim having a, shooting. having a tough time. Stay on the go, stay on. Yes, sir. Act of shooting. The ball up on one so they're gonna give him the shot here. Making a move to the basket. Sagashi going to the line for a two. I bet you he makes both. Still having a good time. Yep. If I was him, I'd be talking a whole load of trash. Oh, spoke too soon. I think they call that <laughs> jinx in the shooter. Yep. That'll be the commentator's curse, Christian. AKA jinx in the shooter. <laughs> oh, this is a bow. I, I, wow, that is really wildly satisfying to watch him <laughs> blow. Twice. What are the chances? What, you know, he must be an 80% free throw shooter. No, the chances are 25% statistically. But. I think they call that a rhetorical question, Ian. Let's see what uh, Macklin can do here, because Gaffney, he's, he's really a moon. Out to Moon for the hot hand. In and out. Hey, hey. Good shot. Good shot. The gosh, this is a good game. Ooh, he came Gaffney out ready to roll. Back Step over the oh, no. knockdown. Knocks it down. Tight game. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> There have been a couple moments you got to mix the jerseys up back and forth. Apologies, they're now up six. Anytime See the field year. goal. Sorry, take a look at the three-point field goal breakdown here. Chivas shooting seven for 18. Ooh. Anytime a good shooter has a chance to step into a travel. Yeah. The crowd is asking for it. Good floater. Mm -hmm. nice very floater. nice floater. He's I a, like, yeah. he's a like very solid player. Yeah. He can score a number of different ways. Yeah. Take a look here. Another good ball movement. Open shots have been few and far between. Yeah, in, in like I was saying, room. you're a good shooter. You know if you can step into it. Ooh! Another moment Ooh. of excitement for the fans. And Tagashi is tossing it up. Gaffney's and the backboard survives. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, one backboard down, a few to go. Great lob, great vision, great execution. They have, yeah, they have a good connection, those two. Set, set, set. 
Let's see if Moon rolls on this. Kim going hard, yeah, getting the foul, and one. That's one of those unexpected plays, you know, if they give it to you, just take it. He's not a big offensive threat. You give you, if they give you the lane, go until they stop you. Absolutely, and a good moment for him as he's forced. Here we go. What? He's, been, he's been tasked with the you know, having to guard Togashi, and so defense. he's been playing good defense. But he's you know, you know, here's the thing: he's not playing one-on-one -on -one defense. He's getting involved in the pick and roll, so it's tough for him. Yeah, good, good, right. Good. And that's what I'm saying. That's why him going to the basket and developing some momentum will be will be useful. Yeah, as he gets the front a, row seat yeah. here to foul Togashi again. Bro. It's a tall order, though, to guard that little man. It is a tall order, my friend. I, I'm not envious of the person out there having to guard Tagashi tonight. Yeah, he's probably coming around to pick right here off the ball. Let's see. Let's try and get him a shot. Hand off. At what point do you worry about exhausting too much of your offensive firepower too soon, though? If the game's on the line. He's not even sweating. Oh, I'm just saying, if the game's no. on the line, offensively, you want to have yeah, yeah. you want to have good offensive execution that's still there, one. not guarded. Right? On the line. And that'll bring our nightly air ball tally to three. You know, As Parker whips that one from three. Somebody up in the upper deck, let them know about the so air let ball. Let them have it. Yeah. Get them some air ball chance. You know, hit nothing but the hardwood on that one. A twine. It's a little <laughs> twine. The worst thing about shooting the air ball there is it goes out of bounds. You got to go the other way. <laughs> Macklin on the post up against Gaffney as well. Again, there's that hook again. Follows up his rebound. Can't come up with it. Gaffney on the offensive. Skips it over to Ono on the wing. Good skip pass to the maybe wing. One more pass there. Gaffney, Gaffney's asking for the ball. Now, if I'm Macklin, I'm running the floor here to the rim, you see. Okay, John Moon on the post. Decides not to force it back out That's to the nice. wing. That's nice. Yep. Good penetration there you by go. The action Hale. created by number 15, though. You, know, you take it hard to the hoop, good things happen. Yep. Ildio Hale, that is number 15, has been creating good action in the last couple of minutes. Help, help. I think his number one assignment is just focus on defense on Tagashi and try and slow him down a little. Gaffney opts not to take the three, kicks it back Step out to the wide not open look, on which they're able to convert. Yeah, like we've been saying, you step into it, you knock it down. Kosuke Ishii for the three on that one. God bless you. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> 50 to 45. Chiba managed to keep in. He's going under, now he went over. A mild lead. No, you get, the night. They've you, been going under all night, haven't they, on those yeah, screens? Yeah. Quick look, gets it off the time. I don't know if you saw that, but if you give Moon a better pass there, he can get the shot off. Here we go, mismatch. Gossi slows it down. Clear, clear the floor, I'd say. Moon's got him, and oh, got it back. Hey, I'll switch it back. Dumps it back to Gaffney. See, uh, is Gaffney a threat out there? I'm not sure of that. that that's what I want to know. So I was curious as to why you so desperately wanted him to shoot that three as Ishii knocks down another one. I mean, he's just so open. I just kind of want him to step into it. I don't know if he has that kind of range. If the big man does have that range, it opens it up for the guard a little more. Kind of the nice wide open mid-range nice, look. Nice and easy. Back rim. Park comes away with that rebound, and Togashi brings it up. Look at Gaffney for the lob. There it is. Ooh. Parker says, I like some of the action. <laughs> he almost put it down on his team right there. <laughs> you know, sometimes people just want to see it laid up. If okay? the, yeah. If Tagashi put it a little higher. Yeah. Gaffney. That was what you could see the setup coming. Gaffney wanted that from half court. The funny thing about Gaffney is when he uh, when he broke the backboard, he said, yeah, I, I kind of noticed that both teams were tired. So I give us a little delay. Yeah. Game here. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's insightful. He's, you know, he's got a plan. Colorful guy. And you see the replay. Just an unfortunate mix up between players Edward. that's kind of what you get in the open court right not yeah. a set play you're all running it Gaffey, is what it is Gaffey takes a seat Edwards now now let's talk we'll take a little look at this matchup between uh Edwards and uh sorry Macklin just because they're they're going to be working and uh Edwards has three fouls so and this is the matchup that we yeah. on the post that we originally wanted to see and haven't been able to because yeah. Edwards has been in foul trouble so like I said three teams on the floor so that last game you got to refresh it every game yep now, if you're gonna, here's the thing. If you're gonna steal the lob from Gaffney, you better knock Make. down both free throws, all right? Make. Make. At least get one. 
What do you think? You want to call it? He's able to convert one for two. Here's Spencer. Yep, it's a good look for Moon. Look at three. Yeah. Knocks it down. See, Moon, he's coming off ready to shoot, which is the way you want to do it. It's the way you like it, right? Yeah, I mean, just at least be a threat. Yeah. So people got to guard you. And Spencer's looking for him. I mean, much needed three. Brings him back to within six. And they're going to get him with a push there. You know, Tagashi okay, cooled off a little Red bit. Four. They give him a break. Shoot. Maybe he comes back in the fourth quarter a little high. Red four. Two shots. Might have jumped the gun on a 50 piece, though. Two shots. <laughs> it's a manage expectation. It's a lot of points. I will say this. I, we're re watching all these calls. That's I, a moving screen. Well, he, he, you see the push there going into it. Oh, he didn't push He pushed it. We all saw that. Point is, I'm watching this, and I think I think the refs are doing a really good job of regulating what? the flow without, oh, yeah. without no. stepping in too much. Yeah, those, no are, those are fouls you have to call. Minor complaints, if anything. Yeah. He's struggling there. That's a mental game when you start missing a few in a row. <laughs> Clear the floor for Moon, I'd say. Oh, careless turnovers. And so it is. You'd like to see the looks that that Chiba's getting, and if they're going to be able to take advantage of those foul calls, they got to knock down free throws. As yeah. of right now, as a team, they're shooting four for eleven for the line. It's a lot that, of points to be left on the line. That's despicable. Is the, the word that comes to mind. Sorry. Four, okay, for, yeah. four for eleven. I mean, needs improvement. As Mack swats it off the backboard again. Yeah, Mack is real active. Need my Michael Jackson. Ooh. Beat a reference. They might get a little foul. intentional foul there. Maybe a clear foul call. But here's the thing, you know, you're shooting four for 11 from the line. So what's the no, score? No, no, I'm not. They are. <laughs> so what's the score in the game here? You're shooting four for 11 from the line, right? Come yeah. on. That's, that's the difference. I like how he goes right over to, right over to Spencer. Make sure he's okay. Yeah, so here's, here's your matchup. Here's your matchup. Double. Pass, pass. That's all. Ooh. You got it. Look. Spencer with the wide open three. Got it. Holds the follow through. Doesn't get it. You need that one. Take off that. Edwards with the outlet. Got it. Parker wide open. Oh, it down. oh sorry. That was not. That was not Parker. That was <laughs> Chambers. Parker had the look of shock on his face. Almost as if he'd never seen him do that before. Yeah, he squeezed that one in. That wasn't showtime or anything. That was a duck, though. Yeah. You know, he's 190 look at Oh, yeah, look. That's the thing about the Lions last game. They have their eyes up. They're passing to each other. I'm not seeing so much of that this game. And they're going to get Edwards. No, no, they're not. They're going to get Ishii. So Ishii on that foul. Edwards frustrated at how it's being called, though. That's probably the only the we only bad side effect of the way it's been. It's been Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's number four, but I think free throws get their own air ball category, don't they? I think they turn the AC up in here right there. Ooh. Is that a violation of some sort? I've never seen that. Wow, now let's see if it makes it. Once, once you air ball, anything goes. And that's a that, real hit to the confidence. That warrants a free rebounding spot. <laughs> yeah, oh, that you, one, he, yeah, he just, I just want to hit the rim. You're not making the second one after that. <laughs> I, when, I, when I played, you know, I had a couple of air ball free throws, and they're the, you among the you most, did, the, you were there for a couple, did you, among the most embarrassing things. But if you air ball the first, did you air ball the first one? Yeah. Because that's a real problem. Yeah, that's, you air ball the first one, and you, you don't care about making the second. You're just like, hit something. Yeah, give me a sound Don't here. be that guy. Give me a sound here. I'm trying yeah. to get a backboard. You know, it's almost like you're seven passing seven it back seven to the ref. That's yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good comp, but as you see the defensive effort there from from uh, the Go Young team, from Tejo. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, a good kind of bail. I said, oh, I thought you wanted to back there we go. Oh, don't call that. Come on. Oh, they give it four. Just four. Ooh. See ya. Wow, and that's a call. I, like, initially, I didn't even know it was on Edwards, but that's a bad call. 
flat out. Off the ball. Look at this replay. Let's, let's take a look and see what happened here. This is that This is going to be. What? He's going for a loose ball. Yeah, look at the coaches. The fourth shocked. foul. You got to be. Josh this is my best interior player, and you're right. taking him out of the game. Gaffney's been playing well, though, so we'll see how he holds up. You gotta let that go. Agreed. You hear the you hear the ref saying though, he's, he's going. You know, you're going through the player's space. Yeah, but it's a pass. Yeah, but I mean, again, the, the rationale is if the player's there and your body moves through his space, you have, you have the right to make a call. So Skull Young throws the ball away. Good pass, just to the wrong team. It's a tough call. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how it plays out in the game. Ten seconds in the quarter. He should be looking at the final basket. He's getting his best Tagashi impression. Squares up, knocks down the three. Nishimura helps fill in Tagashi's shoes to close out the quarter. Tagashi was more than happy to see that shot go in. And with one quarter remaining, Shiba has managed to get a little bit of distance, mounting to a 12-point lead, 60 to 40. I'm having a blast, man. This is a lot of fun. Welcome back. Just getting you into the huddle here, taking a look at what's going on inside the Chiba huddle. Now, what do you think, what do you think is going on? They're, they're getting ready to tee up the last quarter. Uh, they're probably still complaining about that foul call. But nonetheless, they've got the, they've got the lead, although that is frustrating. Yeah. This has been this has been a great game though. To see a little bit of separation really kind of sets up what I would anticipate would be an exciting fourth quarter. Yeah, high octane for sure. What are you what are you looking for out of the Orions as they look to erase a 12 point lead and get back into it? Like like I was saying at halftime, I think they gotta when they do that handoff action up top or that pick and roll action up top, you gotta double out. You gotta double out. You gotta make sure the ball handler gets rid of the ball. It's double hard edge. As shown here, all along, great basketball, great entertainment, yeah. great competition. Without a doubt. The whole weekend. Also great entertainment. Just a next level experience here. Good for both. This is, if you're if you're able to, to make it out, you know, to any one of these events, man, this, the this is something you want to put on your calendar. Yeah, man, the atmosphere has been great, and I expect nothing but better things tomorrow night. It's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, what, what, for you, for you personally, for somebody who's, you know, you've spent a fair amount of time in the region, you could almost claim Hong Kong or Southeast Asia as part of your home or cultural identity. What was? Why don't we come back? I've got a, I've got a personal question for you. Yeah, tee me up. Tee me up, Scotty. Welcome back. Last quarter of action as we get ready. Sheba looking to hold on to this lead. But just before we get back into it, Christian, what, what do you like about this tournament, sort of the future of Asia, Asia basketball? You know, growing up, you don't really have these kind of tournaments going on. So the fact that this is going on in Macau, real close to Hong Kong, Southeast Asia hub, you know, this action is great, and I think it's going to do nothing but grow. And in a great venue. Right, right. right. Lots to do, great atmosphere, great environment. That's a... And again, highlight action, highlight real quality good basketball good as Macklin yeah. taps it back in. Good players, good action. Good Battling athletes. back here, yeah. 15-point margin. I'd be curious to see when they bring Tagashi back in the game. Nice pass out to the game. And Aki Chambers delivering on the three. He's, he's been a nice punch hey, off the bench. Hey. Yeah, I'm, he's got a solid shot, so as long as he can space the floor, he should be no problem. Good good action. Great action. Baseline knocked down. jumper knocked yeah. down. Tip for tat, three for three. Both teams starting up the quarter, two for two. That's the kind of game it's been, back and forth. That was like, on Kim on the corner three. I would like to see number 11 and Tagashi play together, actually. I would like to see Takashi have a reality TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Good, great oh, ball movement the by, the, by the Jets. What a pass. 
Is that Parker? Wow. That good, was good look. fantastic execution. Reminds me of Barosis from last game. Great look. Now Spencer's trying to come off a little double screen here. You gotta come off aggressive. But it's been a quality game through and through. It only gets tough better shot. as each quarter passes yeah, by. Tough shot. Part from there the Gabby's few backward shots. <laughs> up to Gaffney. Oh. Who gives him the, <laughs> a, the a compliment of a pass and says here. Yeah, He's well, going to put this several feet high. I didn't know Michael Jordan was in the building. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, you, that's not him. You got it on that one. You got to credit Macklin for getting back. You know, could have been an easy layup. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Showtime. And the people's champ. Much to the delight that everybody here has checked back in the game, including my counterpart Christian. He I'm gives a, him a warm round of applause. I'm a big fan. Showtime, baby. And it's so fun to watch. Just Fans develop relationships with the players just from giving them a good performance, you know? Yeah, I, I like the fact that he's kind of interacting with the fans a little bit, you know, smiling, talking. It's cool. Low-key, that was kind of a carry there, but whatever. I told, he's a little <laughs> loose with the ball. <laughs> Crossover battling down low for the rebound. I called it rangy, but you could call it a carry. No, not that one. Is it your... When he, yeah, you know, hesitation. Who was it? I think it was... I can't remember. Somebody was going across the lane. Looked like it was a little bit of a... A little bit of a curious. Oh no, it checks back into the game. Mm. Oh. There you go, he's rolling. Hit it. Step into it. Good look, good look. Back with the offensive rebound. Spencer. Yeah, Unable he, to convert by Spencer oh, there. A That's night. a basket you needed. He pull it. Gossie wide open, but Thank chooses not to. Passes it off to Ono, who gives it over to He's Chambers for the three. Knocks it down. Chambers and an immediate timeout by the Go Young Orion Orions, who are going to need to talk it over if they're going to manage any kind of a comeback here. That's a 71 right to 53. Is he coming off the bench shooting like that? Chambers. He's coming off the bench. That's the spark you need off the bench. Look at this here. So Togashi passes up the shot no -look pass. for a wide open later. And that's the kind of patience. That's what separates guys like Tagashi and the other elite guards right. in this tournament who sort of set themselves apart as leaders and not just scorers. You pass up a good shot, you get a better shot. And, yep. Chambers delivers on his role, says, yeah. you just step in and knock down shots. These guys have fun too, don't they? Yeah. Looks like it's a lot of fun. Okay. Christian, any chance you uh, we're going to catch you out in the uh, stands here trying to get on the kiss cam? Well, you know, if the right partner comes along, I'll never say no. In the words of the immortal Justin Bieber, never say never. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I'll you, give you the Bieber quote. You didn't know I was going to make out the Justin Bieber quote. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's tough finding, you know? Yeah, I was going to say, it's maybe easier said than done. I think in basketball they call it the recruitment process. <laughs> Ooh, good spin. Good pivot hey, work. Yeah. Give me that. Says, no, sir. Give me that. Get that out. Takashi comes back on Get the offensive. Get that weak shot Money. Oh. Foul money. Wide open look for Ono as he knocks it down and it smiles all around for Chiba. If you can step into it and knock it down. And we're going to get the matchup we want between Fortson and uh, Tagashi. We're going to get it. A little early to call it, my buddy, but fine to hypothesize here as Macklin makes a strong yeah, move dude. to the basket. 19 point game. Six minutes left. Let's see. Macklin looks a little bit banked up on that. Maybe bumped his knee against uh, Parker. One of those look at me injuries. Oh, maybe not. He stepped into it again. again. <laughs> the three, not able to convert. <laughs> so Choi comes down with the rebound. Out looks it to Jun. They've been playing really good defense, especially on ball. All night. The Jets? Yeah. 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 That was, uh, was that Choi with the knockdown? It was. 
Jin So Choi with the two. Corner threes. Key to the game. That's the lead to 17. Foul on Choi. Also seeing great displays of sportsmanship as clearly teams are showing up to compete, respect each other. Macklin a little gimpy going to the bench. Maybe a knee, knee to knee. I don't know, I didn't really see. Looks like that. Yeah. But oh no, again for the three. Uh, and one. What's the number one rule? What's Ian? the number one? You tell me. It's quarter of the first game. Christian, what is the number one rule about guarding a shooter? Oh man, if you're going to foul a jump shooter, you better go sit on the bench. <laughs> You should come up with your own really cynical tagline for that. Just rewrite that rule. If I was creative as you, I'd have it ready to go. <laughs> Maybe if I took the microphone away and you know, we weren't bound by certain verbal restrictions. You know, it's a half and half kind of thing. So <laughs> you pour my drink, I pour yours. I'm as not I say. giving you any more of my Red Bull. All right, you've had enough. I'm not pouring half of mine into yours. Oh no! Knocks down the free throw. One god. Do you have a jersey favorite here? White on red. Hey, yeah. hey. Great, thanks. Jagashi now sets you up the offense of, again. Of yeah, the jerseys yeah, that are here. You're one of those guys. I like actually like the, um, not the yellow, the Kings. Yeah. If they would have played a little bit, that's probably my favorite jersey of the night. Yeah. Jagashi, Jagashi, four seconds. Little throwback. I'm a, I'm a big dark jersey fan, so. Four seconds. Four seconds to shoot here. Here we go, White. I'm on left, please. Probably get something coming around a double screen if I had to get a tough pass coming out of the corner. There he here is. He's open. Long skip over to Ono, who no loves shooting threes. Puts up a floater. Draws iron. Yeah. Parker right there for the putback. And says I prefer to get another rebound. That's what they call Pat and Stats. Pat and Stats. You know about that. Two rebounds. <laughs> Two rebounds and a 50 goal, 50% field goal That's percentage on that one. That's a moving screen. Good hustle there by Parker. Choi now on the wing. Good defense. Great defense. Wow. The ability to move his feet like that, guard the ball, and not going anywhere. Yep. Choi, a, a long ball handler for the wing. You can see you're just not not able to take advantage of, of that against Gaffney's, Gaffney's ability to move his feet. Yeah. That's, that's, see, even though we got a block shot there, that's what I kind of thought they should be doing all night. Yeah. Just get them down low. Yeah. I mean, the game's over now. Well, Kang Sun Sim, uh, Kim, excuse me, with a low post position down there. And that's what you were flagging earlier. That's, that's what you're saying, right? You put Togashi in your hip and bury him in the post and get easy position. <laughs> oh, we could pick somebody out of the stands and shoot better free throws. Makes the free throw. <laughs> that is one point awarded. Does not matter, matter how it goes in. Banks open on weekends. I think at this he's point, he's just like, yeah, them, right? yeah. No, okay. I think, yeah. He's. He's trying to be smart about it. You know, bank it in. Commentators know the players. He's banking them all in. Bank will be open tomorrow. As it's a uh, Sunday. Yeah, no, Takashi. It's your, it's your world, though. We're just playing in it. As he turns it over. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. I like the energy. You. you know what I think is also great about this this environment is the arena is, is yeah. intimate yeah. enough that the these players can kind of have a little bit of relationship with the fans, you know? Right, exactly. They kind of feed off yeah. each other. It's, it's fun to watch. There's a, there's a lot of people on court level here, so you can kind of get a feel for how big the players are. And yeah. We know what they're talking about to each other. No, there's not a bad seat here. No, no disrespect for people who paid extra to be closer. But I mean, you know, it's, a, it's just a great venue, you know? Besides sitting next to you, no bad seat in the house. <laughs> That's a bold statement. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. you know, right Chief on. Getting, yeah. Jets getting a little loosey with it now. Just take care of the ball, finish the game. Right, Ono, he's up another to it. three. Yeah. Too wide open for his liking. But still clinging. Ooh. Maintaining a 17-point advantage. He might just shoot it. And, uh, I think it's safe to say that at this point, despite the made three there by Jung Kyu Chun, that the Orions, judging yeah. by the roster they put on the floor, are not going to risk any injuries. They're waving They're, the towel. They are conceding. Problem. 15 we, point game. You got a great Just under four minutes left. Up. Tomorrow night. It's going to be great. 
that game as a reference on my accuracy and goal. ね、ドルクスマン。ベストショット。はい。ね、ドルクスマン。ベストショット。はい。ね、ドルクスマン。ベストショット。はい。ね、ドルクスマン。ベストショット。はい。ね、ドルクスマン。ベストショット。はい。
Gaffey, I think, is he's going to be looking for one more dunk. I was going to say, I would have liked to see one more dribble out of that. He's a crowd pleaser. Yeah. Oop. Pick, pick. Oh. Back to one. 11 seconds. 11. 11 seconds left on the clock, as reminded by the officials. Orion's in a 2 3 zone. Gaffney passing up the three that Christian wanted him to shoot yep. a couple quarters I earlier. See, I just want to see if he has the range. I haven't seen it yet. You know, if he's not shooting it, that probably means one thing. He don't have the range. Knocks it down for the Chiba Jets. Somebody else has the range. That's Kosuke Ishii again. Good drive. Nice. Great finish by Choi there. Yeah. See, even though you take a loss, there's always little bright spots for teams. You know, you got things you can build on. Just take care of the ball here. 80 to 65. 15 point lead as Chiba puts up another three, doesn't convert. Christian, it's been a good game. It's been nothing but definitely a good game. Definitely disappoint. Yeah. I think the final score is definitely not going to be indicative of no, uh, what we for saw. Sure. Uh, as uh, the Orions shorten the gap there. You know, I know the game's over, but another case of going under the screen and you can shoot it if they do that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, for the for the Orions and the Kings, both teams that lost tonight. The runner-up match. What do you think? We'll, we'll have time to sort of de debrief and talk about what we're coming, in, coming into tomorrow. But what's what do you think is the mindset moving out of these games for both of the, the losers? I mean, you want to end the tournament on a victory, obviously. You know, it goes without saying. They, this team actually fought hard. I thought the uh, the Kings came out with a lackadaisical effort, so you definitely want to make up for that in the next game. It'd be, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if that if that's you know I think, what they come out with right. tomorrow. You know, that's just think, kind of bad. I think, I think Armstrong is going to have a mismatch, especially with the big guys here. Yeah, and the fans giving the players a warm yeah, round of applause, right. appreciative of the effort after what has been another great day of basketball Super Eight here in Studio City. Great so that fun. does it for the second game tonight. 83-68 is your final score, favoring the Chiba Jets over the Orion Orions. Setting up the guard play tomorrow night. Yes, and we will fireworks be going through those matchups, courtesy of your always insightful thoughts and opinions. Soon after this. Again, plenty to look forward to as we have one more day left in the Super 8. That's once again tomorrow, the final round, final game for the championship of the inaugural Super 8 tournament will take place at 9.30, just after the 7.30 tip-off of the third place consolation game. Yeah, there's nothing like championship rounds, you know, that's what they play for. Even though it's a preseason tournament, they're going to come out looking to win, try and get the hardware. I want to see if you can come up with the most cliche thing to say <laughs> that trumps. Are we on the air? Yeah, we're on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you ask if we're on the air? Why would Classic <laughs> case. It's a fun time here in Macau at Studio yeah, City. The atmosphere is infectious. Infectious. And no more present is it than I wouldn't here be surprised if I saw these boys on the tables later tonight. And if you're getting the final look as the, uh, the Chiba Jets walk off to the warm applause of the fans who are very appreciative of the show they've been hey, able to put hey, on. Togashi, man. Togashi. And once again, the people's champ. People love him. I love him. I love him. And uh, as the fans start to make their way to the exit, a good night in Macau My awaits friends. them. Depending it's, on it's always a joy, life. man. It's been a good couple of nights. Once again, to wrap up a great day in our opening match of the semifinals, the Ryukyu Kings went down to the Guangzhou Lions 60 to 78 as the Lions advance to the championship round where they will face the Chiba Jets after defeating the Orion Orions 83 to 68. It's quite a name right there, the Orion Orions, huh? better rhythm as a team in the second half. I thought uh, Yuki Togashi did a great job of carrying us on the shoulders in the first half. But our, our, our game is predicated on ball movement. Everybody gets involved, and I thought we did a better job in the second half. 
Tomorrow in the final games against Zhejiang Guangxia again. What do you think it's, it's going to be like? It's a tough game. Um, we know the Chinese team already. We played them the first game in the tournament. And uh, I'm sure they're out for some revenge, but we'll be up for the task. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. Okay. And another good, good interview. I like the insight about how Yuki Togashi carried the team in the beginning, but they are a team that is focused on ball movement. They don't want to be too player centric. The opportunities just happen to be there. Yeah, I mean, he was right. He stayed carrying it on the shoulders. I mean, that's a lot of weight for a small guy like that, but he did it very, very well. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, it was all Togashi tonight. Let's see what Gaffney has to say. Hey, Gavin, congratulations on the win. 83-68 is, is the score. Uh, did you expect that it's going to be a 15 points game? Uh, I mean, you never really expect that. We just wanted to kind of play our game. And um, like Coach Calvin said, we kind of found our rhythm a lot better in the second half. So uh, that's the way we would like to play from the jump, but it doesn't happen all the time. Tomorrow against the Zhejiang Lions, again, you guys beat them in the first game. What's it, what is your expectations for this game? It's going to be a tough game because they're going to try and get us back for when we beat them in the first game. So I expect a battle, and, but we're ready for it. And can you do one favor for me? Uh, to see, tell Yuki, can you do an interview with me? I'll ask him, but I can't make any promises. <laughs> no problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I, I love talking to you, but can I talk to your teammate? <laughs> All right, let's go right into the highlights here. Another great game. Again, Yuki Togashi, kind of the, the star of the, the first half performance, really. Um, yeah, setting the tone and really giving the fans good performance. You could pick any number of highlights from this guy. I mean, there's a lot of great shots in this game, a lot of ball movement, good teamwork. I like how Gaffney was playing. I like how Togashi was playing, obviously. Yeah. And again, out of the second half here, as we're looking, a lot of teams around Chiba stepped up, signifying that ball movement, sort of team-oriented structure that the head coach was just speaking on. Right. At halftime, we're thinking it's going to be a down-to-the-wire kind of game, and then they kind of pull away at the end. Pulled away, actually. Here's the... Exactly. So, it's, been, it's been a long day. As we continue to take a look at the, the highlights here, again, you can't, it can't be said enough, the quality of basketball. Honestly, quality of, of competition, I think, is something that probably flies under the radar. You look at... The performance of a game, there we go. and what you want, what makes it, what makes it a great game, is the ability of both teams to operate at a level that nobody else can replicate. It's something new, it's something fresh, and these guys both gave us you know, exemplary. You yeah, I mean you're not used to seeing that preseason action, but we got blessed tonight. Yeah, yeah. Spencer, and Spencer had a tough game, I'll say that. Yes, yes, but in, you know, expect a little more out of him. I think. To be fair, yeah. and this is also something you're going to be touched on a little bit new to Asia as inter-club, inter-league competition begins to build traction as you start to give people what they want. As you can see here, that was uh, another example of... Yeah, he probably knocked down three or four of them. He had a great night. Off the bench, off the bench. Off the bench. Big time spark. Bow to the crowd, well deserved. Round of applause. Yep, third place matchup tomorrow night. Tomorrow night we got the third place matchup between the Ryukyu Kings and the Orion Orions. We saw the Orions go down in a well contested game uh, tonight. That matchup will be starting at 7.30. And then right after that we'll have the final match between the Guangzhou Lions and the Chiba Jets. Big time game, championship rounds. So 